Welcome to another episode of Grimes Finds. Man, we have got a full day ahead of us. So what we're going to do is, is I got to grab Gina and I got to grab Katie and we got to have a morning meeting of what's got to get done today and how we're going to get it done. But before we do that, I need to give a few special people a shout out. Today I have to give a you shout out to Cell Phone Exchange in Garland, Texas because they gifted us this brand new iPhone 10s Mac. We were using a 7. What was this, Katie? What? Seven something. A seven plus. Crappy one? Uh, compared? Compared, yes. So, yes. big upgrade? Yes. Right on the camera? Huge sound, upgrade. Everything. Huge upgrade. Flip it hey, over? Which one? This one? Yeah, because you can see that he has two cameras now rather than... Than this crappy... Yeah. I what? mean, this one has two cameras, but this one has the the zoom... I don't know how to explain it. You can it's, zoom it's out ra better. rather... Yes. It's better. Okay, so hey, thank you, Cell Phone Exchange. Hey... Uh, all their information is down in the descriptions. Make sure to go check them out because here's the deal. All you storage unit buyers, right? What do we find a lot of? Cell phones. Good ones, bad ones. Put them all in a box. What you do is you'll contact them. Uh, go to the website. The link's down in the descriptions. And you can contact them and actually uh, send pictures or you can just ship in a box. And what they'll do is they'll assess it and they will send you a fair value of the phones, understanding that they're using it for mostly parts. So uh, sometimes there's huge money in it. You don't know. So uh, make sure to contact them. If you're looking for a way, instead of just throwing those old cell phones away and not making any money, why not freaking pile them up in a flat rate box, ship them over to Cell Phone Exchange in Garland, Texas, and let them give you some money for it. So, hey, thanks, Mike, and Cell Phone Exchange here in Garland, Texas, for the upgrade. Woo! You yeah. know the only reason I didn't have one? These things are expensive, y'all. Mm -hmm. expensive so again thank you for your kindness before we get started for the day we've got a huge comic book auction for lumpier tv to start going through whoop, whoop. so me and you guys we're gonna dig through the boxes today and see if we can find that hundred thousand dollar comic book but before we do that i was really sad because i went to new york and i called jeremy over at what the hell go back and forth give him give oh. him some dramatics <laughs> right <laughs> at what the hells i contacted him i was hoping he could come to new york and meet us and he just had prior engagement so hey we love what the hell's sorry brother we couldn't hook up but i'm hearing he might be coming back to texas what yeah so hey if you don't know my buddy jeremy over at what the hell's <laughs> make sure to go like and subscribe to all his videos the dude is just a great guy hilarious content and he's the real deal he's really getting all this stuff from units you never know what you're going to find and he makes it very very interesting all right, so now we're done with all that silly business. What's the game plan, ladies? Set up an auction. Set up the auction? Okay, so you two and the three knuckleheads in the back are going to be setting up the auction, right? Yes. Yep. And I am going to be doing what? Comics. Comics, comics right? So I'm going to start sorting through all of Lunkers TV's comics books that we just went to New York and buy. Uh, so, hey, what we need to do, need to get this area all cleaned up. Got it. I need tables lined up all right here so I can put comic books on them. Got it. Got it. Make sure all the shipping goes out today. Got it. Got it. And make sure you have fun doing it. So, hey, here's the dang deal, guys. They are going to be setting up an auction. I'm going to be setting up an auction. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of sales. Make sure to go down in the descriptions, not the chit chat, but down over here on the other side of the descriptions. And the link for the auction is there. Go pre register for the comic book auction now. And the Grimes Finds dollar sale is coming up. Let's get to work. Alright guys, so we are almost done getting prepped. I'll show you that in a second. But look, this is one of those boards that we found in that unit. Wasn't this in the little 5x5 five five mm -hmm. that I bought when I was out with Rob? Yeah, yeah. Alright, it's going to be all these magnets. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get cigar boxes. So we have all these cigar boxes that I bought out of a unit a long time ago. And so what we use these for is, like, so we'll take these. We'll go on here and look at these. Let's show you that look. Oh man, that's the real prince. He's the he's the this the uh, only heir now, right? I guess. Because his brother stepped out of the family. So look, what we do is we'll take these cigar boxes and we're gonna take like maybe look at all these Coke. Look at all these cool old Coke magnets we have. Let's see if we can find a date. Nineteen eighty. Oh, sorry, I just ate a boiled egg. Nineteen eighty-six. 
1995. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of these Coke magnets in this one box. Look, we got the polar bear. Uh, what else? You know what I think we're doing? We're going to really beef this all up. So look, we got some Campbell soup, Cracker Jacks. Okay, what else would go in that kind of category? You see anything? What about M&M's? No? No. Uh, no. Maybe like the mustards, so like, because these are like, these Condiments. are name brands, right? Those are fun. So we'll put those in there, and then what we'll do is I'm going to grab another box, and we're going to make another lot. And we have this one down here that's full of magnets also. And we'll show you all these real quick. So we're going to do the same thing with this, guys. We'll probably put all these Tour City ones in another one, but that's how we're going to handle these maxes, uh, maxes, these uh, magnets to maximize the prices to sell them in little boxes. So let's get back to work. All right, guys. So it is lunchtime. So check it out. Our goal before the everybody broke for lunch, it is noon around here, was to get everything prepped because around the auction house, we're trying to always prep our section before we get to work because that makes the flow of the operations go a lot quicker. And if you've seen our last videos, we are been backed up, but we are here and we are whipping this thing into shape. So let me flip this around and kind of show you what we've got done for the day before we send these knuckleheads off to lunch. All right, so if you saw in here, look, this room is now all swept and pretty. We've already contacted the mail lady. I asked him to get all the shipping that we actually got the payments for. Uh, so this will be today's shipment going out today. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. That's all paid for. It's going out. This is part of the next Grimes Finds dollar auction. That the catalog is up now. So make sure that you go check out that link in the descriptions right this very second. These are over here finishing lotting up because when the guys get back, they're going to be doing descriptions and pictures of the auction. And if you'll remember, this whole area had a bunch of junk in it this morning, right? Now look at all these pretty, pretty clean empty shelves that we were about to put lots on to make money let's see you might rem you might remember these these are all of lunker's uh tv's uh nikes that he got in that one unit and one of the other things that i was going to be doing was working on lotting all the comics and so you remember this was all had a bunch of trash in it you saw the guys working on it so what i'm going to be doing is using all of this table space right here for comics that are all hiding right around this corner. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking a box here, boom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide them out into uh, categories like Batman. And then we're gonna put them all in numerical order. So this whole thing, by the time we come back in the video, is gonna be full of all of Lunker's TV's comics. And if we find something super expensive, we're gonna pop in and show it to you. Other than that, let me get back to work because I gotta make money. And now these knuckleheads are all leaving for lunch. Where are you going? What? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, where I you going? I, I, it's outside in the car. What's your little sensitive stomach? All right, where are you going? <laughs> Wherever my wife says she wants to go. Where are y'all going? What a water burger. Yeah. Water burger. What a burger. It's water burger. I'm calling this as well. Where are you going? I know where the you're going. He's the responsible one. He brings his lunch. Room? He's gonna go eat in the back. Hey, I'm just bro, a broke one. Really. Hey. <laughs> they don't care about this. All right, guys, so we are back. Everybody's back from lunch. They're going to continue on the auction doing picture descriptions, and I'm going to flip this around and show you what I'm working on. So I am working on Lunker's comic auction, so what I'm doing here is just trying to get some of the catalog in order. So what we're going to put in here is first issues, key issues. In this basket, we'll go $0.10 cent to $0.15 cent DCs. Then we're going to go $0.20 cents to $0.35. Cent. We're going to do the same thing for Marvel. Then what we're going to do after that is, is we're going to put them all in numerical order by like Superman, Batman, and then we'll put them in numerical order. And then we're going to run them through a website that we use to check them to see if they're key issues and why they're key issues to make sure that we don't miss out on any big money. Then after that, what I'm going to do is anything that doesn't fit in that category is going to go on here. Like I found some silver surfers and those are down there because I'm going to try to keep them in alphabetical order all the way down. And then what we'll do is, is I'm just going to try to separate them first. We'll get the catalog done. That way we can have the auction up for you guys on Monday. Okay, so we've gotten a lot done. Give them a real quick scan of the table. Okay, back over here. So look, this is the ones I said that these are number one issues. Nightcrawler number one. And we just have a ton of other ones. Like this is kind of nostalgic. This is Thundercats number one. That's real nostalgic to me. So that's what all these are, our first issues. And we have like a ton of adventure comics, like 12 cents, like, I mean, up to 40 cents. But a lot of these are like 12 to 15 to 20 centers. And like tons of detective comics. So what these are, are these are ones that I pulled out to say that I knew we had a lot of them. And these typically hold the most value. 
And this pile right here is what I call key issues. It means it's a first appearance. Someone died in it. I found this one right here. And the guy had already had this on. It said variant cover, also rare. Oh, wait. If so, rare, need to have looked at. So I'm definitely going to be checking that one out. This is all like 12, 15 centers of DC right here. Look at that. Guys, I haven't even gone through probably a quarter, not even a quarter of the comics. And look at that big stack. And anyone who knows comics knows this is the stuff you want, the 12, 10 centers. And this whole stack right here are like the giant size. Like DC had a bunch of the 100 pace ones, 100 pace, 100 page ones like Shazam. We got giant size Iron Man's. We got giant size Iron Man, uh, Iron Man, Spider Man's. I really like these, but this one's in horrible condition. But there's just a ton more. Look at these. These are like just beautiful freaking covers. And so what all of these are so far are like Batman. So like this is all Batman. So it doesn't matter what it is. 12 centers like to newer. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to go through all of these a second time. And we're going to put them all in numeric order. And then we're going to run them through that database again and make sure there's no key issues in there. And then we'll take out the keys. And then what we're going to do is, is we'll do runs, like 20 runs uh, numerically in a row. So like this is the Iron Man stack and look at this. I mean, these are in beautiful shape and these are 35 centers, but I've put 12 centers in here. So that is a bunch. That is awesome. And this, we have a ton of Star Trek and these are like in phenomenal condition. So we're going to go through these, put all these in orders. I don't know if we have number one, but I know I saw a bunch. Actually, I think I did when we were out at the unit. I think I did see Star Trek number one. So we'll sell this maybe in one big large lot. So this is the Spider-Man. So what I did is like anything 35 cents and older, I have them putting in this. Oh, have them. I've been doing it. Put in this deck. And the newer ones we're going to put here. But this is Peter Parker. This is Web of Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, all the different ones. So we'll go through here and divide them up in series and then go numerically. Again, check them for key uh, issues. And then we'll lot them accordingly. Okay, so like I said, I, I didn't even get through a quarter of it. So this is all that I have to go through. So I'm going to run all of this through the same process get it divided up and then we're going to do pictures and descriptions of the whole comic book so make sure to pre-register right now because it's open for pre-registration you can go there do your thing and then when it opens on monday night at 8 p.m central time that's going to send you a reminder so go ahead and set that in right now all right guys i want to give you a tour of the auction that is opening tonight tomorrow 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 i want to give you a tour of that real quick but before we do that let's open mail All right, this uh, first, this package is from George Burke and he sent us a very, very nice letter. Thank you. And some song lyrics. So let's look and see what he gave us. Thanks, George. <laughs> what is that? Oh, in the letter he said that he gave me a scarf to keep me warm. Oh, that's not, is that it? Hold Plano Day. Oh, that totally <gasps> looks so like you. That looks just like me. That is so Regina. her, y'all. <laughs> Thank you again, George. I really love this. Right, the next thing is... Oh, a, boy. Is oh that a knife? It's a USMC. No knife. way. Yeah. What? Dude, thank you, George. Open that awesome. for me. Take that out of there. That is a nice that knife. That is cool. Check that out. <laughs> uh, George, dude, you are too kind, bro. Look, it says USMC mm -hmm. right there. Let's see. Woo! Nice. Oh, on the, on oh Semper Fi. What's it that mean? Marines on the other side. What's Semper Fi mean? I have no idea. Are you kidding me? How long, so how long have you been married like, to me? I feel like I should know. Always? Always remember? Oh my gosh, oh. that's not 11. Always faithful, dorks. Oh. All right, what's next? All right, next is a crossfire wall. Oh, yay. The Shield oh. of Faith. Oh, yay. I love the what, Shield hey, of Faith. Hey, what voice was that? Oh, yay, that's me. No, that was me. I just said that. I don't know where that came from. I know. But hey, man, I like I your sweatshirt. Thanks, look at Hey, y'all Y'all can purchase one of these. Okay, tell Justin to make a black version because I'm going to, man. Like I don't have 50 million things. All right, show them the cross. They want to see the cross. It's the, it's the <coughs> shield of faith. Oh, yeah. I, what? I love. So, hey, thank you so much, thank George. You, George. You freaking rock. All right. What's next? So, we have two letters. All right, who are they from? Tell us both who they're from. So, Linda Glory, a.k.a. Graham in Texas. Graham in Texas. Don't she said, do not call her Linda. Let's see what she sent us. All right. I didn't, I wasn't prepared. Let's see this stuff. Look to us. Okay. 
Tom says the ornament of a house is the people who frequent it. Okay. What's the same thing? Warmest thoughts, best wishes for a happy holiday, happy new year. Ah, uh, what did we say to her? Wait. What? She she wrote a. Oh, okay, go ahead. Sorry. Go <laughs> Just wanting to wish the entire Grimes Finds group a very merry Christmas, a very safe and blessed happy new year. Oh, that's very sweet of her. Linda, aka Graham, Graham from Texas. And Texas. <laughs> Thanks, Graham from Texas. Thanks, Graham from Texas. Thank you, Graham. What's next? Tell us what's um, next. This is from Jason. Jason who? Vaughn. Oh, Jason Vaughn. Thanks, Jason. I'm sorry this is so late. Like, these are from December, <laughs> folks. That's how backed up we are, yo. Like, somebody sent us cookies, like, a month and a half ago, and I'm not going to lie. Like, I ate the whole bag. So, whoever that was, I forgot. Terry Smith. Terry, Terry Smith. Smith. Thank you, Terry. They were great. All right. Let's see what she had to say. Okay. Hang on. I got to open it. Faster, faster. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what Jason had to say. You are a gift to humanity. Oh, man. That is too kind. Who's he talking oh, to, though? You, personally. Here, you read it. Make sure. Says, Justin, thank you so much for your help the last year and putting me on putting me on and helping me and others build our channels. Aww. You are a great gift to so many. I hope 2020 is an amazing year and you surpass all your goals. Hey, brother, you are so welcome. So check this out. That goes into the next thing I wanted to do is I want you to do Look, last week we had a challenge to try to get our friends Crocker's Lockers from 600. I think they were like 590 something to a thousand and check it out they've grown like almost double they're like at 970 y'all so right now go to this channel and make sure to subscribe to freaking crocker's lockers i promise you guys guys promise you guys uh oh that was almost like my i don't know it's like a mix between my peewee voice and my yoda voice so rewind check it out uh but so what were we doing Crocker's Lockers. Crocker's Lockers, yeah. Make sure to go subscribe to Crocker's Lockers. Guys, they're only like 28 away from 1,000. And any of you YouTubers know how hard you work to get to 1,000. So let's make their dream come true tonight. <laughs> Our back. That's for you, Rob. All right, so check it out. Hey, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the Grindstone <laughs> cell. It opens tomorrow at noon. Is that right, dear? Uh, probably more like 9 a.m. Oh, 9 a.m. Huh. That's a good uh, That's a good surprise. 9 a.m. tomorrow, but you can pre-register now for this dollar's grind fine auction of the stuff I'm about to show you, and you can pre-register for the Lunkers TV comic book auction. Pre-registration is open now, so go to both the links down in the descriptions and make sure to do that. That way you get a notification when it opens and then all of our other fantastic auctions that are coming up. So anyway, check it out. If you've seen some of our past videos, you saw that in that one locker, we found a couple coin collections. Right, I found like three coin collections in probably the last week in separate units, no uh, freaking connection. So anyway, look, silver uh, Morgans, right? Got just beautiful stuff this week. We got electronics, uh, this Budweiser like bar set is kind of cool. It's a it's a barbecue set. That's what I meant, barbecue set. Yeah. Uh, but check this out, guys. Look, if you like vintage freaking Nintendo games, you freaking got new in the box. The pamphlets are in there. And I think on some of these, we you got the pamphlets with them. Mm -hmm. So, like, lot 37, that's going to be all one lot, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, did y'all put all these in one lot? Yeah. Whoa, that's a crazy lot right they, there. That's a freaking They're times crazy, the money. Times the money. So, that means whatever the bid is, it'll explain it to you. But the X... That's a killer lot. I, man, people are going to fight over that. So Jacob literally out. almost peed his pants. <laughs> uh, up there is, we found that in the unit. I don't know. Oh, that was the unit that I bought after I let Rob have the gun safe unit. Uh-huh. So check it out. That big stars hockey puck. Uh, this is a killer freaking lot. Look at this. Lot 39, y'all, if you're Game Boy. Has almost. Hey, where's the other games? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. These are just Pokemon. Oh. These are highly. Okay, I was like, man, that thing was full. But no. check this out. So. Lot 39 is only a vintage uh, Game Boy Pokemon set. That's freaking rad. Look at this one. This is a, a, what do they call this one? A color Game Boy? Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color. Look, it comes with all the accessories. It has um, a, yeah, a magnifier for the screen. Magnifier. And then look at this lot. Oh, just, just knocking like everything over. <laughs> freaking brutal over here. Where's the other, other games? Are they in there? Yep. They okay, go with so that lot. That's going to come. Go check it out because the pictures are in there. But check this out. I know this one works. So a Game Boy Advance. And man, it is freaking, uh, comes with a case and everything. But you got jewelry lots. Hey, these were real popular in our last auction. Well, not that, but that's kind of cool. 
These were real popular last auction, so you guys freaking paid really good money. I think you still got a phenomenal deal. Uh, so, hey, by popular demand, you got huge uh, jewelry lots. This one comes with two jewelry boxes, what? too. What? All yeah. right. So, Heck look, yeah. you got furniture if you're local. Uh, look, we got vintage toys. We got vintage PC games. We got Star Wars. What else we got? This is just all the really cool stuff. Remember this lighter I found? Uh, and that I can't remember what unit that was in. Oh, that was in the big 10 by 30, I think. I didn't watch uh, that video, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hey, this quilt lady, I guess I'll call it the quilt thing, but she had like 30 or 40 quilts. We need to get the rest of those added. Uh, but check it out, like just all this stuff. Look, that Tigger, that vintage Tigger thing, it's still on the back. It doesn't have the box, but it's brand new. We found coins, uh, lots to, what do they say? 197 through 200. So go check that out. If you want to see those, uh, what coins are in those books, go to the auction right now. Look, we got old spurs. Those are kind of cool. Oh. I really, look, I don't, we find so much elephant stuff that I just don't really care about it anymore. But this is, really, I do. I know you do, freak. <laughs> look, but this is cool. So what do we got over here? These are uh, the drums that we bought back from New York, but these are not in the sale. So there's that. <laughs> look, lots of crystal. Uh, look, more vintage-y stuff, old photos. Those are always fun, right? Mm -hmm. Look at all this glass we have in here. Some beautiful They're glass. They're beautiful. Look at this, guys. Y'all go check all this stuff out. Got some decanter action going on. That's a Waterford. What, this is? Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah, it is. Get out of here. It's stamped on the bottom. That voice. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's some nastiness. Y'all didn't clean it out? Yo. No. Hey, we're going to try to put some warm water in this and show you how pretty. How do we not clean up Waterford? <laughs> I don't know. No, hey, go, hey, y'all, y'all, don't get mad at me and say I'm being mean. Go three videos back, I think, and see that I had to get them that freaking the little Buddha head looked like he was all up in some cocaine <laughs> because they didn't powdered like, donuts. Powder donuts. Whatever. We're family but friendly. Why would you try to sell this like that? I thought it was your speaker. Okay, I'm just kidding. Hey, this needs to be retaken. You don't take a freaking five hundred dollar decanter and not freaking wash it up for pictures. Five hundred dollars? I would figure that they could go for that or more. I don't. I don't know. A Waterford decanter? I don't know. Yeah. It's at least a few hundred, easy. That's cool. Hey, not not in the chit chat we're chatting and now down in the comments below. Look up this decanter, okay? Minus all the crap that's in it, okay? Huh? And let us know what you think this decanter's worth. It's got the stopper and all. That's hey, babe. Can you do me a favor? Real quick, grab that Windex. Let's pretty that up so we can end the video with that. Let's see what it should look like. <laughs> uh, but check it out. Look at this big uh, lot, 229. It'll have the piece count in there. I think, I think it's This 70. is the Wedgwood. This is 70 pieces. 70 pieces of Wedgwood, y'all. And what's it start at? A dollar. What? That's crazy. Times 70. No, I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> look, we got more vintage G.I. Joes, guys. Hey, those. these are the ones that I found at the thrift store for like, between like, 89 cents and a dollar 20 and y'all on that freaking one car that one car i spent 10 bucks total in it go back to the thrift store challenge not thrift store challenge it's one of our last thrifting videos for from me and gina and i sold one of the cars that i bought for 89 cents for 65 freaking dollars so look we got ice skates this is a really cool lot look at that all these old buttons there's like old uh yeah like bands bands comics disney dick tracy uh Never mind. <laughs> Anytime you get a chance, huh? All right, but check it out. All this cool stuff. Look, vintage Harley freaking uh, Davidson freaking handkerchiefs. This is pretty cool, y'all. This is a vintage Bose tape deck, uh, like almost like a boom box. We don't have the cord for it, but it is, I bet it's battery operated. Uh, maybe not. That's a lot of power. But I, oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to tell you wrong. Where's your cord? It looks like a standard cord, so we might try to find one. But look, here's the, uh, right here, show them the model number. Booyah. Look that up. Hey, not in the chit chat, down in the comments. Let me know what you think this thing's worth, because I have not had a time since I got back from New York. I just found out about this, but this thing is killer, y'all. Katie found that, just saying. All right. I did. So check it out. Here's the rest of the stuff in the auction. Remember, everything starts for at a dollar. So look, what I, what I decided to do on this that y'all saw earlier this morning, uh -huh. we decided we're gonna sell this whole board with all of those magnets on it. But uh, y'all remember that from one unit, we found all the Star Wars books, look at this. Booyah, booyah. And we tried to divide them up in sets. Look at all these little glass figures. I remember when we found these. 
the little glass hippo. These are really pretty, y'all. The rhino. That's a great lot. Uh, but look, just more vintage stuff. Big jewelry lots. Um, they said this is me in about... Man, it ain't long. I'm starting <laughs> to get puffy eyes. Just in the six months we've been doing YouTube, it's like that 15 years later thing. It's because y'all stressed me the crap out. <laughs> um, but I think that's it, guys. That's so, it. hey, freaking make sure to ring that bell, select all. Uh, make sure to go to What the Hells and Lunkers TV and freaking subscribe. Uh, other than that, see you at the next unit.